Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about how to raise a custom event from the child to the parent in order to change the parent data. We have seen it. So here, the if you try to see here, we have used in the in template template uh, method we have used. It. That is that, that is nothing but dollar emit. This global method we have used it in the template. And the first argument will always be the name of the event and from the second argument onwards whatever the arguments we are trying to send it using the comma oriented the extra arguments these all the things will be reached as a parameters for that edit post method if you try to see here this single post it was going to the post right post dot view and here we are taking this edit post so this edit type and post that is nothing but the kebab case we are writing here it will be in the like this if you want you can also write it in the uh, like this also you can write it. it's not a problem edit post and the update post so if you do there is no need to mention the arguments automatically these arguments will be carry forward carry forwarded to here the post id so tomorrow if you are trying to send any other parameter like hello world here any other parameter so you can get that parameter directly here and here you will be able to see the message i will show you and if you if i do the console.log of message we will be able to get the hello world thing if i show you here inspect element and in the console in the console if i click on the edit page so here we are able to see the hello world so that is the main thing so we are able to understand this one now fine so the first thing we have understood is so that is the from the second line onwards we'll be able to see the arguments and the, th and, the and the other one is for example let's say that i don't want to use it here i want to send it something like update post so here i want to write an update post here that means this update post method is available here constant update post is equal to like this you will be having like this so constant update post is equal to it's a method and here we need to emit it so dollar emit can we do it like this so we cannot do it like this so for this one what we need to do is we need to define the emitters what are the different types of emitters available in this component the emitter the first emitter available in this component is nothing but custom emitter is edit post so you need to mention this constant emit is equal to define emits using the method define emits define emits and array and you need to mention it so first one is the edit post so we have mentioned this one edit post and now using like this what you can do you can call emit of edit post okay so you can call it like this and the argument is nothing but post.id we are sending the post.id that's it so through the component if you want to explicitly declare the events means so you need to use the define emits macro and you need to use it like this say everything it also takes the object i will try to explain you so like this the dollar emit method that that we used in the template isn't accessible in the script setup section of a component but define emits returns an equivalent function that we can use it instead so that is the main thing i want to tell you so dollar emit we cannot use this one in the template thing in the script setup function so we can use this define emits which which emits the same thing the define emits macro cannot be used inside a function it must be placed directly within the script setup so directly we need to place this one in the script setup you cannot place it place it inside the functions or anything so if you are using explicit setup function instead of uh, script setup events if you are trying to use it so that is nothing but what i can say is you are not using the script and you are using explicitly the setup function means at the top you need to mention the emits like that so you will need to mention it emits so like this you need to mention and afterwards you will be having the setup function like this you need to mention so that's the different thing so i don't want to uh, show you the demo so that is one thing not only this one just like the props how we are having okay we can also define the now uh, what i can say validations for that one so runtime uh, compile time validations also runtime validation also of the payload the payload the type of payload what you are trying to send it that runtime validations also we can send it first we'll see the output so whatever the component setup we have did it we'll see the output if i refresh this page so everything so far is working fine if i click on the edit post post is not defined gone what happened okay this one is props right so we need to write props dot post dot id sometimes this type of things misses and here if i try to refresh this page okay so if i refresh this page and click on the edit post see we are able to update it and this undefined is coming by because we are not sending any message or anything 
but we are trying to do the console.log message so we are not sending the message right so there is no need to show the message let's close this one also yeah so now this is how we will be doing when you are trying to use it in the dom native html template means so this type of attribute is not supported so you need to use edit hyphen post so this one is a view template so that is the reason we can use it like this so just remember so just for a note i am trying to tell you fine so now through the javascript script setup how we can call the emitter and also through the template how we can call the emitter we have seen it now the last thing what i want to tell you is before closing of this events thing validation events validation similar to the prop type validation an emitted event can also be validated if it is defined with an object syntax instead of the array syntax to add the validation the event is assigned to a function that receives the arguments passed to the emit call and returns a boolean to indicate whether the event is valid or not so for example what i can say is here this is our define emits right so instead of mentioning this one as an array we need to mention it as an object okay and this edit post should be a function so you can write it like this or otherwise you can write it like this also not a problem and here this edit function so it will take a payload so payload you can also say it is a payload and here we are having only one one argument we are passing it right so you can mention it as an post id okay and here you can write something like if post id is there and also type of so if you want you can write you can so many uh, you can write the conditions post id is equal to is equal to number then return true okay so then the validation is valid or otherwise return false so you can mention it like this also or like this also we can do it now let's see the output how it will happen so if i try to refresh this page and if i click on this one edit post see we are able to get sub updated but when i try to remove this props.post.id okay let's see what will happen if i remove this props.post.id and if i refresh this page and i click on the edit post see we are able to see that invalid event arguments event validation failed for the event edit post let's see that we will send the string edit or anything hello world okay hello let's say let's send the hello now if i see the output so then also we need to get the invalid right so we are able to see invalid arguments then also why because the post id should be an integer not an string so it should be a number in javascript terminology we can say it is a number so what i can see i can send the props dot post dot id so like this we can add the event validation for for the emitter events or for the custom events also we can write so here the validation is nothing but the payload or the arguments which you are trying to send it to the events it will try to validate those things and the another one what we have discussed is for the props also you will be having the same type of validations also so these are all completely about how to fire the custom events from child to parent thing so through the template if you want to fire it you need to use the dollar emit through here you need to use the define emits and you can use you can call this emit method just like the dollar emit it will be provided but in the define emits you can have a wide variety of customization like writing validations for the in for the payload also so hope you understood about this custom events functionality if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you